Okay, it's a new day of trying to get to a thousand chess elo. Let's start a game and see what we can do. Play my usual opening. Um, okay. Um, let's see. D5. What do I want to do here? Uh, I think I'll take and just develop my knight. Uh, I think that's okay. I think I can push a pawn. Not really sure what that trade was all about. I mean, I'm up in development now. Maybe I just push a pawn. Develop my knight. Hmm. Maybe just offer the trade here. Hmm. I feel like this is some kind of trap. Um. Hmm. Yeah, because I, I want to block or I want to block this, but then he'll just take the pawn. And then if he takes this, I'm forced to take, and then... Um, I think I need to just add a defender to the pawn. I think he'll probably push here. So I'll take his pawn with the knight if he decides to go here. Yeah, I feel like this is some kind of weird trap. Maybe I just go for this. Throw his plan off a little bit. I'll go for a check. I'll be forced to move here and then... Well, the pawn will be defended here. Maybe this is the move. Hmm. I'd like to keep a couple defenders on the pawn. I think my next move is just to kick his bishop here on a3. I mean, what's the move here? Can't always give him check. I can block this too. I mean, if he wants to lose a bishop for a knight, I think that's okay, and then I'll just castle long. It's fine. I'll castle the other way. It's fine. Okay. Any reason not to take with the queen here? I can take here, push, and then I have this line with the queen. Okay. So he's basically eyeballing this. I think I'll just defend the pawn there. It was hanging. He's playing pretty fast, so this just makes me feel like He's played this many times before. If I go, yeah, I think I just want to get the castle out of the way. I have a weak pawn if I do this. Thinking about centralizing the queen. Centralizing the queen so I can at least push the pawn up or something. Maybe that's not a good play though. It's a little unfortunate that the H pawn is going to be more or less lost. Hmm. 
I'm looking at his weak pieces. He doesn't really have one besides these pawns here, but I don't have a great way of getting to them. Maybe I just do this. He takes the pawn if I take the defender off here. His sea pawn's vulnerable as well. I want to harass this queen, but I just don't have a great way of doing it. I'm trying to think of what I gain if I attack his queen here. I don't think much. I think I'll just go for his undefended pieces. Maybe I add a defender to this pawn so I can go do something else. Maybe I just offer the queen trade, simplify the game. I can't attack his queen this way. I think I'll just do that. At least force him to move around a little bit. Can attack again. No, that's undefended. I need to play faster this round. Maybe I go something like this. He'll probably start attacking my king side, I bet. The pawn's hanging here. Uh, I think I should have added a defender to the uh, rook there. Pushed it up two squares. Yeah, okay, I kind of saw this coming. Um, okay. Well, he did just open up the center for me, so maybe I move this out of the way. He's playing pretty good, I will admit. Maybe I'll just pin his knight here. Start pushing up. Saw that coming. This pawn's lost. Maybe I should have moved my bishop and just defended this pawn. I want to just break the center a little bit. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. Okay. So he's got two attackers here. So do I. I can't attack his knight here. Or do I just go for this right away? This is unfortunate right here. I think I'll just push. I don't want to lose another piece. Okay.
He's playing well. Yeah, if he takes this, I mean, I can take with the pawn. Yeah, he's playing really, he's playing good and I'm playing kind of slow. So I have to figure out what the most important thing is here. I'd really love to go here, but. I think my best bet is just try to open up the center. Actually, uh, I should have noticed this, this huge fork here. I kind of hope that he takes here and I can just go for this fork. That's a pretty big move, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm actually okay with this. I should have noticed that a long time ago. I think this is salvageable. Um, so I believe I do have just this. And then if he takes, it's fine. That'll put me in a pretty good position, although his uh, queen is here. I'll probably go here and um, let's see, I have this as well. I have to be mindful of his queen here. I think if he moves, I'll just go here. I think that would actually just be checkmate. Is this checkmate? Wow. Ooh. <laughs> I was getting a little bit worried that game, I'll be honest. I felt like he had a huge advantage, but um, I think just noticing that fork with the queen there kind of turned it around. And let me think about it. Wow, really bad accuracy from both of us. That was a pretty wild game there. It looks like both of us played a lot of blunders. Um, so taking with the pawn was a brilliant move. Got a brilliant move this game. I guess that makes up for the blunders. Yeah, I wasn't really familiar with this opening. So a lot of this was kind of just playing um, not on like past knowledge, but just trying to play good chess. But yeah, he kind of put me in a position that I've never really seen before. Like this one was a little bit weird to me because I wanted to try to keep protection on this pawn, um, but on this pawn as well, or on the knight as well, excuse me. Okay. I'm usually okay to trade a knight for a bishop. I think it's a fair trade. I don't think he should have made his um, bishop trades here. I don't think that that paid off for him. So it looks like I have a huge swing and advantage here. So d5, queen d5 is a mistake. This, this is an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting squares for permits the opponent win tempo by threatening a queen. Yeah, that's true, but I didn't end up threatening the queen. Yeah, I should have noticed this. Um, yeah, I that makes sense. So I tried to protect this pawn here, but I was doing it without attacking his queen. Um, so that makes sense. I was doing it this way. I kind of did it the wrong way. Um, okay. That's a learning lesson that the pawn can just protect the bishop there. So that's fine. Oh, sure. And here he had a hanging pawn. Okay. That's something I should have noticed too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to keep an eye out for stuff like that. Looks like he missed one of my hang pawns too, so. Okay, so the bishop was the better play here because then his knight's hanging here and then that would have also attacked his rook. That makes sense. Yeah, so we both had kind of a lot of blunders here. <laughs> this permits the opponent to eventually win a knight. I guess. So basically push down the center. Um, let me see what the play here was. 
So he takes, oh, and take the knight. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I attacked his knight. I was going for a pin here. Um, I wanted to prevent his knight from taking this pawn. That's kind of what I was after. Basically mobilize this piece. I'm surprised they wanted me to take here. Hmm. This is check, but then he can just recapture. I don't know if that position's all that great for me. Hmm. I suppose it's better, but yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking about this one. I guess it just paid out in the long run that um, I had the bishops uh, attacking the e6 square. Um, this move was a bit unnecessary. Looks like we both were kind of just playing bad. I think at this point I was just realizing that I was low on time and I just wanted to find something um, to win. And I wanted to play less defensively and more offensively. I think where he made the mistake here was just not recognizing the fact that his knight was hanging here. I think that ultimately kind of swung the game. I wonder if he had a better move here. I think he should have ran this way, to tell you the truth. I think he should have just went and hid back here. Surprised that this is a brilliant move. That's cool. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he definitely got peace hungry here towards the end and didn't recognize the threat. That's something that I've done a lot is uh, when your opponent is threatening checkmate. You kind of tend to go off on side quests, just capturing pieces. Um, that's something I've done a lot in my games and I'm trying to get better at. I think the better move for him even would have just been to protect this pawn with his rook. I think that probably would have paid out a little bit better. And yeah, this basically gave Maiden one. I think he should have just ran on his back file. Um, the pawn was only pr attacking these two squares, um, so I think he might have had a chance if he just ran backwards that way, but um, yeah, no, that was a fun game. GG Wabalinos from Panama. Wow. Yeah, fun game. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, maybe see you guys tomorrow.